bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have another, a new Sativian knife, the ST132. Now, the exciting thing about this is I have a coupon for you guys, a discount coupon. So this is originally $30, or right around $30. With the coupon that will be linked down in the description, you can get this for $19.99. So for 20 bones, you got D2 steel, coated blade, and there's a bunch of different options. So this isn't the only one. There's, um, I forget how many, there is uh, like four different options, including one that has like, almost like a, um, a multicolored, uh, well, this part right here is multicolored, these little swipes right here that actually work out really good for your fingers. But let's check out this example. So this has somewhat of some kind of micarta. I don't know what this material is, but it's a pretty unique. If you look at the sides of it, it almost looks like bamboo. I know it's not, you know, it is some sort of micarta, but it's got like speckles on the edges. And you can see it's some sort of micarta that they made. Um, then we have this blacked out coated blade with multiple deployments, flipping action, solid detent, detent works great. As soon as you break it, it does fly. Not easy to fail at all. Really good detent. Wow. And you have the reverse flick, which you can have multiple different places to use it from. So you can go up high with it. Ooh, hit my finger or you can go down low and get a little more leverage. The clip is a deep carry clip that is inset. It does have button screws, but I don't think they'll really get in the way. We have great access to the lock bar and it's nicely chamfered on the edge of the lock bar. So it makes it nice and comfortable when you do disengage it. The detent is nice and early, so it's easy to get past. So you're not gonna be fumbling around on the detent when you unlock it. You can get right past and it has fall shut action. Very, very smooth. You also can thumb flick it. So lots of deployments here. Really, really sm super duper smooth. And the ergos are very comfortable. The thickness, the way you have, you have these finger placements. Now you don't have to put your fingers there, but Putting your fingers there makes it very, very comfortable. It does naturally just fall really nicely in the hand. Now for reverse grips, you can still do them just fine. The way the spine is, you know, it, it puts leverage across your palm if you're gonna cut ropes or straps or anything. Um, the clip in the hand, um, I feel it, but it's not uncomfortable really. I can feel it kind of moving a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Not much though. You do have jimping on the spine. Now choking up, it really doesn't have much of a choke up spot, but if you do need to do a push cut, you can easily just go right over the face of the flipper tab for harder push cuts. Now the geometry, um, I'm guessing about 20 thousandths behind the edge. Let me just check it really, really quickly. We are looking at, oh wow, is that right? 15 thousandths behind the edge? 17, 17 thousandths behind the edge. That's really good. Back here I was getting about 15 thousandths, 17 thousandths up here. So it does kind of taper a little bit. Um, the tip is nice and durable, so it's going to be going to be a little bit more robust along the spine. So your utility cuts are going to be relatively easy to get to, but you do have quite a bit of belly, you know, for those type of tasks. But you have a nice long, flat, straight area there for the push cuts. Lock up. Nice solid lock up. It does engage really good. No play, any direction, that's really nice. Now I do have a hint of detent lash. Um, so, you know, yes, there is that. It's not really bad or anything, but I know, you know, I don't think that'll be all of them or anything like that, but mine did come with a tiny bit of detent lash. I actually thought I had detent lash, but all I did was I just tightened the pivot a little bit and it completely went away. Um, so no detent lash at all. Um, but like I said, when, when the, the pivot was a little loose, it did feel like I had a little bit, but it was just because the pivot was a little loose. And when I tightened it, I didn't have to over tighten it or anything like that. Um, it went right to tight and super solid lockup. 
no lash, so very cool. Now, if you do get one and you have an issue with it, you can always return anything you get from Amazon for for um, for like 30 days or something like that. But you have a, um, a hidden lanyard post back there. So if you do like lanyards, you can get a nice burlap my car to lanyard um, bead or something. It does have a a pretty good look to it. It looks nice and mean. I like the fuller, how it kind of trails downward. It makes it look really good. And then you have a swedge. So you have the fuller and a swedge. The swedge is going to help materials go over the blade as you're passing it through. And like I said, the thickness and the depth and width in your hand, it is a very comfortable knife and it's so affordable with the discount. So this is going to be one that uh, would be, the centering is very close. I've been messing with it, so, but uh, it, it's very, very close. Maybe a, t yeah, it's a little bit off. I'm sure I could adjust that though if I messed with it. Um, but the D2 steel, D2 takes a really good edge. I personally like it right around 600 grit because it does best with a um, medium to coarse edge. That's how D2, uh, that's the, D2 is best around a medium grit edge, medium to coarse grit edge, and it takes it very, very well. I personally prefer around 600 grit always for D2. Now, the lower back you put your angle, the, the, the more bite you're going to get and the, the, you're going to raise up your edge retention and you will, it'll be more slicey, right? It'll be more slicey. You don't want to lower back too far, um, you know, cause you don't want to make it fragile, but you know, there is a happy medium place like 17 degrees per side on a knife like this would do very, very well. It'd make it extra slicey without sacrificing too much toughness. If I lowered it back to 15 degrees per side, well, then I'm going to sacrifice some toughness, but I will have maximum uh, cutting performance, you know, and the, the edge retention would probably last a little bit longer as well. The plunge grind, I'm not going to complain too much. You know, they did give you something to sharpen off, so you do have a couple good sharpenings in there if you keep the same angle. If you lower back your angle, you're only going to get one or two sharpenings, maybe max, uh, maybe even just one. Uh, but, you know, this is a very budget knife. This is something, you know, you can, you know, not really worry about, you know. And they do have a replacement plate over here. So, you know, instead of having just a gaping hole here, they gave you a little plate. So they did give you a little bit of extras. Milling on the inside, it does feel very lightweight. This is a pretty cool knife. If this is considered micarta, I would say it's not the best quality micarta. It's not going to... Uh, you know, soak up any oils or anything like that. It's definitely more of a dense, um, very hard uh, material. So it's not going to absorb or patina, um, at least fast. You know, it might do it over time. But, you know, it almost looks like a different kind of material. Um, I, you know, maybe they are trying to call it uh, some sort of micarta. But to me, it's just something different. Um and, you know, it, and, but like I said, you know, if you're trying to call it micarta, then I would say it's not good quality micarta, but it is, uh, whatever material it is, you know, it's pretty interesting. It doesn't look too bad. You know, it kind of does fit the knife, you know, with the, the darker colors with the blade and the hardware and everything. And, you know, it is pretty comfortable, very lightweight. I'm sure it's plenty tough. So I think, uh, for 20 bucks with the discount, Man, it's a killer, killer deal for sure. And you know, you could it could be basically a beater knife for for anybody who just wants a nice fidgety knife to uh, to beat on around the house or around the job site or whatever. The lock up or the the stop pin, regular size stop pin, not too small, not too big, not a shouldered lock up, but it doesn't need it, and it's rock solid lock up. But uh, there you guys go. Just a quick look at the Sativian ST132. Like I said, all the information will be down there. Discount uh, coupon code and the link to 
the the knives. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.